What comes to mind when you hear of another planet that looks like Earth and have almost similar properties to Earth? For the record breakers, it will be a very good second chance to break the record of climbing the planet's tallest mountain. While for the engineers and scientists, it will be an everyday awesome discovery of new elements, metals and compounds. But, what about you? Before you start dreaming of living on a planet with temperate climate and overflowing H2O, how about we see what this planet has in stock for us? Is it habitable? And, what characteristics of this planet are similar to those of Earth? Please support us by subscribing to this channel. And talk to us in the comment section below on your thoughts as regards this video. Kepler 22b is the first extrasolar planet, or exoplanet, that the Kepler Space Telescope found in the habitable zone of its star. It is thought to be a promising spot to search for life. But at 600 light years away, further scrutiny of this world may require more powerful telescopes. Announced in 2011, Kepler 22b is estimated to be 2.4 times larger in diameter in Earth. With a comfortable average surface temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. In the years since, however, investigators have debated how habitable the planet actually is. NASA first announced Kepler 22b as part of a set of 54 habitable planet candidates in February 2011. All of these planets were found by the Kepler Space Telescope. The telescope looks for alien worlds by measuring dips in the parent star's light as the planet zooms across the star, from Earth's point of view. By December 2011, astronomers were able to confirm Kepler 22b's existence. Scientists published about it in the Astrophysical Journal. More details about Kepler 22b were announced as part of a larger press conference. At the conference, NASA announced Kepler had found more than 1,000 new exoplanet candidates. By June 2017, Kepler had discovered more than 4,000 planets and potential planets. Kepler 22b is slightly larger than Earth, but has an orbit that is pretty similar, 290 days to Earth's 365. Kepler 22b also orbits a G-star class sun like our sun. But the exoplanet star is a little bit smaller and colder. Investigators praise the find as helping to fulfill Kepler's mission of finding another Earth. We're getting closer and closer to discovering the so-called Goldilocks planet, Pete Worden, director of NASA's Ames Research Center in Moffett Field, California, said during the press conference. The area around a star in which water can be liquid rather than ice is known as the habitable zone. Sometimes called the Goldilocks zone, it's just right, not too hot, so the water doesn't evaporate, and not too cold, so it won't freeze. A Kepler team member also suggested that the planet, at more than double Earth's size, may not be able to host life on its surface. Instead, it could have an environment that is closer to Neptune, rocky core, large ocean. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that life could exist in such an ocean, said Natalie Bataya, the Kepler deputy science chief, in an interview with the Associated Press. This diagram compares our solar system to the Kepler-22 system. The green area represents the habitable zone, where water can exist in liquid form. Kepler 22 star is a bit smaller than our Sun, so, its habitable zone is slightly closer in. The orbit of Kepler 22b around its star takes 289 days and is about 85% as large as Earth's orbit. Habitable Zone Searches A few scientific papers have been produced since 2012 examining Kepler 22b in detail. A 2015 European Planetary Science Congress abstract looked at the variability in energy produced by Kepler 22b's host star, which would affect its habitability. A 2016 American Astronomical Society meeting abstract showed the results of simulating exomoons in the system, to see how habitable they could be. The authors concluded that systems of satellites also hold the potential of supporting life, according to the abstract. That said, a search for an exomoon around Kepler 22b published in the Astrophysical Journal in 2013, found no evidence of any moon in that system. However, the habitability of Kepler 22b is not necessarily a sure thing. It is only listed in an optimistic sample of potentially habitable planets. At the Habitable Exoplanets Catalog, a project of the Planetary Habitability Laboratory of the University of Puerto Rico at Arecibo. The list includes planets that may not be rocky, may not include liquid water, or may orbit at the edge of the habitable zone. 
So, what are your thoughts on this planets? Is it still a planet you'll like to journey to? Or you'd prefer to stay on our peaceful chocolate, H2O filled earth? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, give this video a like, if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel also turn on the notifications to get space updates from us. Thanks for watching.